हेलो एवरी वन इट्स मे विकल्प दिस साइड एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ऑफिशियल सेट कॉमर्स चैनल दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो फ्रॉम द सेट कॉमर्स मार्केट प्लेस वीडियो सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल गो थ्रू हाउ वेंडर कैन प्रोसेस देयर ऑर्डर्स कैन क्रिएट शिपमेंट फॉर देयर ऑर्डर्स एंड विल सी द वेंडर शिपिंग मेथड्स फॉर देयर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड वी विल ऑल्सो शो हाउ मल्टी शिपिंग कॉन्सेप्ट वर्क विद द सेट कॉमर्स मल्टी वेंडर मार्केट प्लेस सो लेट स्टार्ट So before starting, we will assume that you have all the necessary add-ons to make the functionalities working. So in order to provide vendors to process their orders, we will be using and needing vendor order add-on. Vendor order add-on enables your vendor to manage their orders completely, starting from the invoice till the shipment. And for showing the vendors. vendor shipping method for the vendor products we will be using vendor multi shipping add on which will facilitate facilitate the admin to allow or disallow multi shipping feature for the vendors admin can set different shipping methods for vendors vendor can set their shipping origin address that is the warehouse address also vendors can set which shipping methods if they have multiple shipping vendor shipping methods install which shipping methods will be listed out for his products either 1 2 or 3 or all so we will be using multi ship vendor multi shipping add on for that and in order to show different different shipping methods we will be use we will be needing actually uh, at least one vendor shipping methods so in this video we will going through the we will going through and using the vendor up shipping method which we provide with the set commerce market platinum package so these are the necessary addons which will which will be like needing to do the app, to the functionality what we have discussed so we have already installed all these addons and we'll go through the functionality what we are going to do in this video that we will we in like like we will already have created vendors and their products in the in the last videos and in this video we will add it, we will add those vendors product in the card proceed with the process of checkout and in the vendor panel with the help of vendor addon order addon multi shipping and vendor upa shipping addon vendors can process their orders create invoice create shipment and also vendors can request for their payments like in marketplace admin will be charging some commission to the vendors for listing out their products on his site so well when the orders are been processed vendors can request their pending amounts from the vendor panel and we will also see how admin will pay them offline through the process which we have in the set commerce marketplace so now first we need to make some configurations and we will see what configurations are available in the admin panel so let's move on to the admin panel so here is the admin panel simply click on the marketplace menu select the vendor configuration vendor configuration will be consisting all the configuration settings for the admins in general we can see we have already installed the advance order system that is vendor order add on multi shipping and the vendor one shipping add on so with the help of vendor orders add on admin have the power to like allow vendors to create shipments to create invoices or not he can allow vendors to create whether vendor can create shipment or invoice by from their own panel or not and with the help of vendor multi shipping add on this you can set out the carrier titles which will be visible method title and how whatever the number of vendor shipping methods are being installed on the site they will all will be listed out here so that admin have the power to whether uh, enable or disable them for vendors so we will be using vendor shipping method ups shipping method so it's already enabled from here 
so this is the admin configuration and let's check out for the what configurations we have in the vendor panel related with the shipment and invoice so here we are the vendor login page we have created two different vendors and they have two their different products so this is the vendor one and in order to check for the configurations to make sure that vendor this vendor shipping methods will be listed out for his product we will quickly go to the settings and here we have three options transaction settings shipping settings and shipping methods so first we will go through the shipping settings shipping shipping settings will be the origin address of the vendors from where they will be like uh, making the shipment so you need to fill out the details country state city and zip code another option is shipping methods this shipping method option will be holding all the allowed or enabled shipping methods for vendors which are installed on the site so here currently we have installed the vendor ups so ups setting is there you need to activate and you need you can like select what are the allowed methods will be used for ups we currently we have selected all the methods and according to zip codes necessary methods will be listed out so shipping method and shipping settings these both settings need to be filled out in order to like show vendors shipping method for their products in the checkout process there's another setting transaction setting is there which we will discuss later when we will make transaction request a transaction to admin so we will check this option later now since we are done with all the configurations let's see how the checkout process works we just need to add two different vendors products in the cart and process process the checkout let's quickly go to the front end and i've already added two different products of the two vendors so we'll quickly go to the cart page here we have i've added two different products of two different vendors the demo product is for vendor 1 and uh, another product ring for vendor 2 so this is the cart page we have already added them in the cart page let's proceed to the checkout and see if uh, we get the shipping method for both the vendors or not if any vendor by mistake or have not enabled the shipping method or shipping settings from their panel which we have just discussed then for their for that vendor's product admin rates admin shipping methods will be listed out so make sure that your vendors have enabled both the set, these settings shipping settings and shipping methods these are necessary settings and are mandatory so we'll quickly go through the checkout process here we can see that uh, vendor 2 for vendor 2 product shipping method is coming and similar with the case of vendor 1 we have added two different products of two different vendors and two different shipping methods are being listed out so we will be using them selecting them and make the checkout process and complete the checkout process so we will be selecting one from each of the shipping method click next now we will be having the payment method so currently we will choose the cash on delivery and we'll place all the order for that now we have added two different vendors product and we have used two different shipping methods each for one pro vendor and after the order getting placed we will go to the vendor panel and process the orders since we have uh, like enabled the admin has enabled we have provided the criteria to a vendor can process the invoice and shipment so we will go through it and now as we have seen that the order is placed order id is 66 we will quickly go to the vendor panel here we are at the vendor panel to check and process the vendor vendors order uh, here we have a manage vendor 
menu it consists of four different sub menus one is manage orders manage invoice manage shipment manage credit memo he can check for all these things so currently we will go to the manage orders and we have placed an order with the order id 66 here it is we will it's currently in the pending state because it is not processed yet so we'll go through the view page here we have the invoice button as we have enabled in the admin that vendors can create invoice yes and vendors can create shipment yes so here we have the invoice button and shipment but shipment button so we'll quickly go and create the invoice for this product this is the general process which we follow in the admin to create invoice invoice has been created now we will check and ship the product this shipping but ship button will come only when we have the multi shipping add-on along with the vendor shipping method then only vendors can process their ship their products so let's quickly ship the product now we have the new shipment creation form similar what we have in the admin we have just provided you similar replica to the vendor panel so that they can process their orders now the shipment is also being created and we can see that order so invoice and shipments are being created so vendor order number 66 which belongs to vendor 1 is already processed now now since the whole amount is being gone to the admin now vendor can request for their payments from their vendor panel so for that we will go quickly go to the transaction settings in the settings there is option transaction settings which we have left like for now when we click on that this consists of the offline transaction methods which admin will be will use to pay vendor offline so currently we have enabled a check money order uh, with the check pay name is vendor so we'll just request the amount for this order from the vendor panel to do so we have a transaction menu over here and it consists of two sub menu requested transaction and view all transaction so we will going to request the transaction for the order number 66 which we have just placed so here we have order number 66 we will just click on the request button this will this will give in like you know, that vendor has requested for the amount which is for his order so we will quickly go to the admin here we are we will in here we will go to the transaction section where vendor has requested the transaction so to check what vendor has requested we will again go to the marketplace menu here we have a vendor transaction menu we will click on the requested transactions this will list out all the vendors request for the transactions so we have several orders so we will go to the order number 66 we have created the request from both the vendors whose products we have just ordered so we will process the make the payment of the process for vendor 2 order number 66 with here it is pay now this will open the offline payment form here So here we can see it is the beneficiary account which is the vendor 2 total amount is 26.43 like it includes the shipping if you don't want to pay the shipping you can uncheck this one and it will change but currently we will be going to pay for the shipping as well commission fee is added like admin will be charging $10 as a commission fee and rest of the amount will be paid to the vendor so we'll just click on the continue and here we are on the transaction pay uh, this payment method is same what we have set on the vendor panel 
in the transaction setting if we move to the transaction setting check money order this is yes so we will this same thing will be men all the methods will be listed out here here we have the check money order we have used that we have selected that and if we any pending or adjustment amount is there you can write it here this will be adjusted in the amount we will be you need to enter the transaction id since it is a offline method so we will be use writing the transaction one in the transaction id cross check the things we will be paying the shipping as well the commission will be deducted from that and now we will click on pay offline and this amount that will be is paid payment is successfully saved from the admin side as well the payment is made offline and if we go to the vendor panel and click on the requester's transaction we have just requested for the order number 66 order number 66 here we need to search for okay we have we have paid for the vendor 2 so we will go to the vendor 2 dashboard login as vendor 2 there we will go to the uh, sorry requester's transaction here will for the order number 66 here it is and we can see the order is being paid order is being paid against the order and admin has paid the vendor offline so this is for all today uh, we have like added the two different pro vendors product in the card and there's the is the order and when each vendor has processed process their orders created the invoice shipment and after that they have requested for the pending amount from the requester's transaction menu in the admin panel we sh we have seen that uh, admin how admin will pay the vendor offline so this comes to the end of this video in our next video we will be covering the commission section like how admin will be charging commission to their to their vendors with the help of vendor commission add-on so keep watching this space for more thank you